Um, I'll, oh, well, hey, those were our three films, and you hear that sound? I sure don't, but I assume I probably added something in post to indicate we're starting a brand new segment right now, a little something I've decided to call Hex for Trainables. Must be the season of the witch, yeah. We all know that the world we live in is a hard world and it's getting harder every day. Things just keep getting worse and worse and you're probably wondering how can I make it through life alone? Wouldn't it be great if I had a little friend in my corner, a little friend who could help me out and make things go just a little smoother day to day? Well, you do have someone in your corner or something I should rather say and that is magic. That's right, we're going to be teaching you in this new segment a few little tips and tricks and spells and charms to help you make your everyday life go a little bit smoother. And these are just simple things that you can do with stuff you have around the house, but it makes a real difference in your life. Uh, and for our first episode, we're going to keep things really simple, but we're going to talk about something that everyone likes and everyone can agree is good. True love. We all love that, right? I love it. You love it. The cool skeleton probably does. Uh, I'll assume so by his silence on this topic. Um, but you've probably got some you know, special someone in your, your head that you're thinking of that you'd really like to make an impression on. And we've got a spell today that will help you do just that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, love? Love charms? That's a little, uh, little problematic, isn't it? I don't want to mess with anyone's you know, consent or free will or anything like that. Well. Don't worry about this one. This spell, it's a light spell. Um, it does not involve any sort of brain finagling. It's just something to help uh, make someone give you a second glance. Now, you yourself still have to do all the heavy lifting of making sure that they realize that you've, you're worth that second glance they gave you. But this is good for getting your foot in the door. And it only requires two items. Uh, one, a flower pot. Now, flower pot should be full of dirt, of course, and the dirt can be any old dirt, doesn't matter. Of course, good growing soil is best. Uh, the pot itself, though, has to be a virgin pot, meaning that it has never been used for planting before. So first time planting. The other thing you're going to need is some sort of bulb root. Now, a lot of people prefer tulips because of the associations between flower and love. I personally prefer using an onion because I feel like the pungency of the onion gives a love charm a little more uh, potency and zest. Um, now, some people prefer white onions or green onions. Um, I like the yellow onions because they're the cheapest. So, here's your spell. Very easy. You just take your, uh, your onion, you dig a little hole here in your pot, and you plant the onion in the pot. Now, as you're planting, you do need to recite a very specific incantation. First, you're gonna say your true love's name three times. So, blank, blank, blank. And then, as you're burying your onion, you're gonna recite the following sloka. <clears throat> as this root grows, as this blossom blows, may her or his or there, heart B, turned unto me. You got that? Very simple charm. Uh, this comes to us from the Irish travelers uh, who made it to England, and uh, this is where that spell is recorded. Uh, you will have to do the incantation every day as the uh, bulb is growing, and the more the bulb blossoms, the more your true love's eye will find its way to you. So that is a very simple little charm to help you, you know, just, um, you know, get some attention, hopefully, in life. Uh, we'll be dealing with some other spells next time, maybe do things a little more complicated, but I think this is a good starter one. So that that's all the time we have uh, for us on, that's all the time we have together this week on Deep Cuts, but join us next time. We'll have some more great films for you, as well as some more little spells you can do. Until then, uh, until then, enjoy your mortal coils.
Ghostbusters.